All right, this is video for Jeremy with another tutorial, this time about how to add layers to a composition. So normally in my project, I'd have a bunch of assets over here and I could add a layer by just dragging those assets into the composition. But since I don't have any assets, we're gonna be doing it a couple different ways. First way is to go up to this layer menu, select new, and then you'll get a bunch of options about different layers you can add. We're gonna be adding a couple of those just so you can see what each one does and uh, how you can order those. I don't necessarily like using this menu every time that I have to add a new layer. So what I like to do is use what's called a context menu. And what a context menu is, is when you right click in a certain area of the window, it'll give you options that are contextual to that area of the window. So for example, if I right click, I get the new layer options that I would have gotten if I went to the top menu. So let's start with a new solid. So you'll see here that it brings up a new red solid that's the same size as our composition, which is fine. But let's go ahead and change that red color to something else, say a uh, dark gray. So you can see that it changed the name from red to dark gray. Let's click OK, and there's our solid layer. Say down the road that I wanted to change this gray color. I could do that, I'm not tied into it. I just go up to my assets here, choose the dark gray solid, layer, solid settings, go back into that color picker, change it back to red. You see the name changes to red solid. It also changes to red solid here, and there it is in our composition. So now let's add a different type of layer. Going back down to our composition and right clicking, let's add a text layer. Now it's hard to see, but there is a cursor in the middle of this screen here. And if I started typing, there's my text. Going over to the selection tool, we can bring that text, center it up a little bit. Moving along, let's go back, right click, add new, let's do a shape layer. So right now the shape layer is selected, but it's not showing anything because we haven't actually created a shape yet. We can change that by going up to our shape tools here. You can option click through to the different settings, rounded rectangle, ellipse, polygon, star, rectangle. Let's create a polygon. And so you can see it easily. I'm gonna go ahead and change the fill color to something different. There we go, there's our polygon. So you can see as we're creating these layers that they're building on top of each other. Our solid was our first one, our text was our second one, and our shape layer third. So if I wanted to put that shape behind the text, all I have to do is drop the layer down. Or if I wanted to put the solid above everything, I could do that by just rearranging these layers in order. But for now, I want the text on top, I want the shape behind it, and I want the solid on the bottom. So let's go ahead and add one more type of layer. Again, right clicking, new, and let's do adjustment layer. So again, you'll see that the composition is selected, but we aren't seeing anything. That's because an adjustment layer is supposed to be invisible. It's supposed to be something that you add effects to that are applied to all the layers underneath it. So I'll show you an example of that. Let's go into effects and presets. First, we're going to want to make sure that our adjustment layer is on top of all of our other layers. Make sure it's selected. Then we'll go into the effects and presets menu. And let's go ahead and add hue saturation to that. So then in our effects control, you can see that effect. And then let's take the saturation all the way down. So now we're left with a monochromatic image. So to show you how this affects the layers beneath it, I'm going to take the adjustment layer and I'm going to move it below the text. Now I'm going to add a color to the text by going into our character settings, changing the fill. So you can see that our text has color, but everything below the adjustment layer does not have color. So again, if I move the adjustment layer beneath the shape layer, the shape gets its color 
and our solid is the only thing that doesn't have color. And again, if I move the adjustment layer below the solid, everything's back to normal. So an adjustment layer will affect everything that is below it. Okay, that's pretty much it. That's the mechanics of adding layers to a composition. Be sure to check out the website for more After Effects and Premiere tutorials.